What is going on you guys? My name is Josh, also known as Harry Tornado, and I sell stuff on eBay. And although I've been doing this a couple years now, I still do make mistakes fairly regularly. A couple weeks ago, I sold an item to a buyer on eBay, and once he received it, he messaged me saying that I sent him the wrong item, which I did. So I want to make a short video for you guys today talking about what went wrong, how I fixed it, and why I think this is the best way to fix this if you ever find yourself in this situation. So before I jump into today's video, I wanna take a quick second to welcome any new viewers to my YouTube channel. If this is the very first video of mine that you're seeing, again, my name is Josh. I go by Harry Tornado here on YouTube and over on Instagram, and my full-time job is selling stuff on eBay and making YouTube videos about it. I usually do like vlog-style content, going to thrift stores or garage sales, and occasionally I make videos like this where I talk about one of my many mistakes. So if you find videos like this interesting or helpful at all, be sure to go ahead and hit that subscribe button down below if you haven't already. So I sell things on eBay fairly frequently. Pretty much every single day of the week, I have some amount of items being shipped out. And about a week and a half, two weeks ago, I sold this item. This is a Tommy Armor TA1 hybrid iron head cover for a four iron. It's a golf club head cover. It wasn't a big sale, $7.80 plus shipping. I accepted a best offer on this. And you can look at the big picture here. This is a T, it says TA1, Tommy Armor right there. That's correct. And four iron, this is what the buyer ordered. But what happened was that I have two of these head covers and the only difference between the two is that one of them is for a four iron and one of them is for a three iron. Other than that, they look exactly identical. So when I shipped out this head cover to the buyer, I wasn't paying 100% attention and I accidentally grabbed the three iron head cover instead of the four, shipped it out, thought all was well. A couple days later when it arrived, the buyer sent me a message and this is what it said. Hi at Harry Tornado, got the item today, C attached, ordered a four cover, received a three. What happened? When he sent me that message, I looked at the picture he attached to the message and it showed a Tommy Armour head cover with three on it instead of four. I then went out to the garage where I keep my eBay inventory and I looked in the head cover section and I was able to locate that four head cover that should have been in his hands instead of three. So that proved that I did in fact make a mistake. So my response to his first message was, so sorry, my mistake, that immediately like admits fault. Like, hey, you had nothing to do with this. This is totally on me. I'll send the four today and you can keep the three. I'll send tracking info ASAP. I didn't want to have to make him jump through all these hoops of printing off a return label and returning that one and dealing with return shipping and blah, blah, blah. It was a $7.80 head cover that I had less than $2 into. So it just wasn't worth it for either one of us to worry about that. I will say that if this was like a $300 item, then yeah, it's not quite as easy to eat all those costs. But when you have a low cost item like this, generally anything under 50 bucks for me, I'm usually not going to make the customer go through the process of returning it. If the return is like kind of fishy, you know, and it seems like they're trying to scam you for some stupid reason, then yeah, I'll make them return it. But in a situation like this where I am clearly at fault, usually I'm just going to let them keep the, the incorrect item that I sent them or if it's broken or something like that, and I'll send them something new or a replacement item totally for free on my dime. So in this situation, I didn't refund him the eBay thing, but I, but the eBay purchase, but I did send him the new head cover for free. At least I told him I would. Uh, and then he responded to that message and he says, PayPal invoice me. I'll take care of it. No issue. Thanks for writing Lance. Shout out to Lance for being one of the coolest eBay buyers I've ever had the pleasure of working with. I'm so glad that I messed up something on his order instead of a much more difficult eBay buyer to work with. Of course, I'm not going to let him pay shipping to get the correct item that he already paid to get, you know? So I was like, no worries. It's on its way. Tracking is blah, 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 blah. Thanks. It's such a small cost for me. Like I didn't have to refund him the actual purchase price of $7.80 plus shipping. So I was only out the loss of the cost of the second head cover I gave him for free, which is like less than $2 and the shipping, which I think was $3 and 50 cents. So for basically $5 and 50 cents, I was able to make this probably one of the best customer service experiences that Lance has had on eBay. And that in turn led him to respond with his last message that said, got it. You didn't have to do that, but I certainly appreciate it. I'll save slash shop you going forward. So that $5 and 50 cents that I took out of pocket to send him a free head cover, the correct head cover that he ordered made it to where he is now 
trying his best to be a continued shopper of my eBay store. I don't have a ton of items listed on eBay at the moment, but he's you know going through my stuff, looking for stuff that he needs or wants for his life. And I think that was a $5.50 well spent. Again, if these items were much more expensive, things probably would have played out a little bit differently. I currently have two golf putters for sale on eBay for 250 bucks a piece, and they're also the same exact name brand. So we could have a situation where somebody buys one of those putters and I accidentally send them the wrong one. So it's an exact situation to the golf club head cover, but with two $250 items instead of two $7.80 items. So in that case, I'd still apologize and admit fault, but I would also send them a shipping label because I want my $250 putter back. I'll pay to ship the right one to you, I'll pay to ship the wrong one back to me, but I can't let you keep an item like that. So it's really about evaluating your business and coming up with that, that price point where it will or won't be worth it for you. Again, for me, that's usually about the $50 to $75 mark, depending on how much money I have into the item and how much money it'll cost to send it back to me. If I sell like a VCR to somebody for you know 75 bucks free shipping and cost 20 bucks to send it out there and they say something's broken on it, I'm probably not gonna have them send it back to me because I'd have to pay for return shipping and by the time I do that, it's not gonna be worth selling again. Just take a second to think about what your time is actually worth. I've seen so many people try to sell 10, 15, $20 items, free shipping, as is, no returns, but then the buyer opens up a return request anyway because, well, these shoes aren't quite as green as I thought they were gonna be, just some dumb reason. But then instead of giving them a refund and being done with it, you spend the next two days of your life arguing with them back and forth in eBay messages about what the color green is, and then you spend two hours on the phone with eBay trying to get them to close the case where in reality, it would just be so much faster and cheaper and easier to just say, I'm sorry about that. Here's a full refund, have a great day. You can always go in and block them after that so they can't buy anything else from you and do that again. But so many people are spending so much time and energy and effort and, and just worrying about so many dumb things in their business. You're never gonna have a truly successful business if you spend most of your time worrying about bad things that already happened instead of spending your time focusing on ways to make more profit. Like I, anytime something bad happens in my business, whether it's an angry customer or a mistake like this, I handle it in the fastest way I know how because I've realized that my time in my business is better spent on the future of my business rather than dwelling on the past. And that's exactly how I handled the issue of the switched head covers. I took a small monetary loss up front, shipped out the new one to him immediately, and it was over. I did talk to him in the messages a couple times, but it wasn't anything that was mentally taxing because it was positive comments. It was him becoming a lifelong customer because of my customer service, not me arguing back and forth about something that doesn't matter in the grand scheme of my business. Thank you guys so much for watching today's video. If you enjoyed it or learned anything at all, take a couple seconds and hit that like button down below. It's totally free, it really helps me out a ton. And if you haven't yet, go ahead and click the subscribe button down below as well. Thank you guys again for watching. You're the best and I'll catch you on the next one. Oh.